All right, we have like a maybe like a shred of joy in this episode. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Bus or I Shinobi. We have episode 130 of our MHA watch today called The Wrong Way to Put Out a Fire. I, it's not looking good. Last episode, a lot more, I guess, sort of wrapping up in terms of the destruction that has been reaped throughout the beginning of the season. We found out a lot more about Hawk's backstory. We're going to hop right into this one. If you're new to the channel, drop us up and hit that big boy bell. And let's get started. Oh, some backstory. His flame tie. Himura family. Oh, this is when. Oh, they approached him with her. Oh. Yeah, I was gonna say it was basically like an arranged marriage. Wow. Boy, he looks so young. That's crazy how that was the goal from the beginning. That's why their children exist. Oh, she could have said no. She would have felt like she was letting down her fam family, and they probably would have, like, hurt her for it. And now we're about to see the reunion. What a special moment, though. This is a crazy reunion. Mm-hmm. God dang, dude. I just feel that it's going to be another heavy episode. But like I said, what a special moment where he just said, like, do you like the flowers? It's sad that the bar is that low for Endeavor for that to be a special moment. But it's just weird seeing a different side of him before all of this. Of course, we cut to Toya. And it's funny because Endeavor last episode said the hero itself died. See what he says, how he scrambles. He's crying blood, brother! My god! I mean, he said he can't really show emotions because of everything that's happened to his face. Oh, we're going way back. Yeah, we're staying back. She had a dominant gene. A designer baby? Also, it was obvious. I mean, yeah, it is obvious. So the ice side of him was taking over more. But now it's flat. It's just straight up flames. Boy. This long ago, his whole goal. Gosh, this is going to be a heartbreaking scene to see what all went down whenever he thought he died. Oh. Boy. Yeah. Ooh, I like that flame effect as he slams his fist down. Make him give up. Oh my gosh. They wanted to kill that dream that he initially lit a fire under him. And then another baby came along. And Toya saw that. He saw like them just trying over and over again. Just an obsession. Oh my gosh. Ooh. And there's Shoto, the perfect baby. Well, exactly what he wanted. After the doctor told him to stop, he tried two more times. Or I guess three? No, four, yeah, two. And he felt overshadowed like he wasn't enough. Oh, that is heartbreaking. Yeah, but uh, after already putting him on this path, he was so gung-ho about it. He felt like he was disappointing Endeavor. Oh my God. He just harbored jealousy towards Shoto. God damn. And they isolated him. They were worried that Toya would hurt him. I mean, from that, yeah, but... Gosh. Well, it is all the, all the pieces are starting to sort of connect. Okay. Now I'm guessing we're going to start to see if he was able to start overcoming that that perspective. And Shoto was never allowed near him. Different world, even though they're all just kids. Yeah, I mean, Shoto was just born. He was just a baby. <laughs> God dang, Toya. I was like, I got it figured out. Oh my gosh. I think the mountain is where it all happened. Our worlds are different. He was already cemented in that hero world. But he has already been, he was already put on that path. It was painful to try to go down another. 
In his perspective, he realized they had him. God. Oh my gosh. He holds her accountable even though she was also a victim in it. We're just gonna make her harbor just ill will towards her own son. Ah. Just slowly develop the blue flames. The hottest flames. Got excited. Gosh, he thought there was still some chance. Oh my god. Do you want her to hurt him? The same eyes. Oh god, and that's when it happened. Anyone's would. He never went. So Toya just imploded, I'm guessing. You can't tell him that he's never gonna surpass All Might or be better than Shoto or be enough. You could tell him he would be enough because he is enough. But of course he's gonna think he's not. Oh, dude, it's like no wonder that Toya or Dobby went down this path, man. He saw himself as just a science experiment, which inherently he was, and he was never shown any different. But they genuinely did think he died. God, what a horrifying image. Yeah, as this big pro hero's daughter or son, you have to keep up appearances. Wow. wow. They're still here for him. <laughs> you overcame it more than anyone else. I mean, Poya lost to it. Shoto didn't. But they're both victims to them. God dang, dude. <laughs> Oh my gosh, your family trip. Oh, this is so uncomfortable. <laughs> no, dude, you do not have to apologize. That's not why we came out. Please stop. Oh, she apologized. Illegal denim? Yeah, wait, what? Oh man, I think he's way too far gone, but you can try. So Hawks, like his wings are gone, gone, right? Like permanently? Close. She had, I mean, you're at a point where you don't need to lie. Right? Let's just be honest about everything. We move forward together. But this family is together still. By some mean, by some mean, some margin. God, all the heroes are just broken. The most important one being all for one. Aside from all the free villains, yeah. 10,000. It's from other countries. Oh, shoot. Is it kind of teasing people? You have to, yeah. This will help him so much to have him, his family behind him. Oh, no, they're growing back. Oh, thank goodness. The top three heroes. <laughs> Little bit. Yes, uh, last episode felt like just the bottomless pit. And now he has these, these people pushing him up. God dang. So what happens after you stop him, though? Yeah, you gotta make some kind of speech. Yep, gonna have to say something eventually. Oh. Oh. Yeah, what does that mean? Never knows. Is it time that the truth is revealed? I mean, the enemy's already after him. <gasps> he just said Deku. <laughs> I'm so glad Bakugo's okay, man. Yeah. Okay, so a lot of them are, are getting to the point where they can leave the hospital. Is it? I don't think so. <laughs> he addressed him by his hero name. Aw, oh, Genus is so nice. He's like, ha! Huh, interesting. He's figuring it out. The best kept secret. Hawks is gonna demand some answers. Talking to the previous wielders. He already has a couple. 
boy, that backstory was heavy, man. I mean, we've known a lot of what Shoso went through in his childhood since like basically like the beginning of the show. I mean, back whenever I thought that Todoroki was gonna become like a final villain basically in the end. But now we've come so far and to build onto an already known backstory is just incredible because it gives so much more oomph behind everything we already knew. And I love the way they're building up this, this separate storyline with, with Dobby or Toya and the Todoroki family. Like it's something else to look forward to in the future aside from the entire overarching you know all for one versus one for all that's what this show needs is more i guess side stories and side paths and i think that's what hawks has been a really great example of is this this random side character that they bring in they flesh him out and he just has this overwhelming importance but guys that's been it for episode 130 of our mha watch through do drop a comment down below what you thought of the entire backstory in general and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace peace